low tab nation and auto hockey learners today uh tom me we're going to be talking about uh roms emulators with auto hotkeys i see a lot of people struggling with this so i figured i'd do a video on that using uh what's it called visual game boy advance you can obviously use any emulator you want and i'm going to be playing pokemon emerald so in a lot of the pokemon games uh there's an egg you can get from the daycare to hatch it which involves taking X amount of steps. So a lot of people ask like how to just make a auto hockey's just walk up and down for, you know, however long till the egg hatches. So we're going to do that. Obviously you can manipulate this to pretty much any game you want to farm in using that. Now, some emulators can be a little bit difficult with auto hockey's a few pieces of advice I would throw out there. And this is pretty much with any game is make sure you're in window mode you're not playing full screen that can cause issues you might have to run your script uh, as an admin that can also help uh, those are really two of the main things that i see people uh, solving any kind of issue they run into so let's take a look at the code we're going to be using for pokemon uh, so i'm doing set title match mode to two uh, that just means down here with uh, my if which, where is my F? There it is. I must have accidentally deleted that. All right. <clears throat> That's just saying that um, as long as the window activate contains Visual Boy Advance, we're good to go. Uh, I do set title match mode to two just because that's always going to be on the window, but it can also sometimes include like the name of the ROM. And I won't, don't want to have to change my script anytime I change to a different ROM. So this will just work in that thing. Uh, so we're going to start with toggle at zero. That's kind of like an on and off switch. So we're starting in the off position as soon as we load the script. Uh, max threads per hotkey two. That's to prevent this from really loading up a bunch of stuff, which kind of messes with toggles. So just leave that at two. You know, uh, I do do another video where I explain that if you want to check that out. Um, so I'm not going to go into much detail about that. So I'm using my hotkey here, F1. Uh, this can be whatever you want. You know, it can be like Control A or whatever. Uh, but I always use F1. So as soon as I press the F1, it's going to check that that uh, emulator is actually the active window. It's focused on there. It's then going to change the toggle here from 0 to 1. So on or from off to on. And then we're just going to start a loop. And a loop just means keep doing the same thing over and over again until, you know, some conditions met which I have right away. If toggle equals zero, meaning I push F1 again, it then does that toggle switch from one to zero off. It's gonna break, meaning break out of the loop, be done. So we're just gonna do a simple thing here. We're gonna do a send down using the down key arrow. Uh, and we're, we wanna hold it down. And we're gonna hold it for two seconds, which is what this sleep is, because then it does a send down arrow meaning release it. Then we're going to do the same thing, but we're going to be using the up arrow for two seconds, hold it down, and then release it. Uh, once we do hit F1 again and it toggles and breaks, it's going to come down here, and just to make sure, it is going to release both the down and up key. Because if I were to uh, push F1 in the middle of like this sleep here, and it came down here and these weren't here, it would keep holding that down key because it never hits that up. So I just put them down here. That way, if I break during one of the sleeps, it's still going to release my keys. And then the end of our if when active. All right, let's give it a shot. So I'm going to go ahead and load up into the Game Boy Advance emulator here. And if you guys use a different one and you have issues, let me know what the name of it is and what the issue is running into. That way also future uh, visitors to this video kind of know that there is a difficulty with maybe the specific emulator they're using, they might want to uh, switch to one that they know works. And if you haven't yet, make sure to like the video, subscribe, and hit that bell notification because I'm doing about two, sometimes three videos every week. All right, let's see if we can get in this game a little faster. I think I had a save state here. Yeah. Apparently that doesn't want to work. 
I'm going to go ahead and pause this video, get past all this kind of intro stuff, and then I'll be right back with you. All right, and we're back up past all that dialogue. Now, obviously, I don't have an egg to hatch right now because I'm at the very beginning of the game. I would have to put hours in just to do a video. I'm not going to do that, uh, but you'll get the idea. So I'm going to go ahead and run that script. Make sure my uh, emulator is my active window. I'm going to go ahead and press F1. There's my hands. So I'm just going up and down every two seconds. I'm switching. I can, you know, walk away, go make some food or something, come back. Hopefully my egg is hatched. Um, yeah, I'm going to go ahead and press F1 again. And there I go. I stop. So yeah, pretty easy to do. Um, if you guys have any questions, run into any difficulties, definitely let me know in the comments below. And hopefully I can help you guys out with that. All right, see you on the next one.